Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Gradient Tool in Photoshop Elements applies a gradient fill, which is a gradual blend between colors. There are some preset gradients in Photoshop Elements, and you can also create your own. You apply a gradient by clicking and dragging in a pixel selection or raster layer. The starting and ending points of the area over which you drag often changes the gradient's appearance depending on the gradient style. To apply a gradient fill, select the raster layer to which to apply it in the Layers panel and optionally make a pixel selection in the layer. If you do not select anything, the gradient is applied to the entire raster layer currently selected in the Layers panel. Next, click the Gradient Tool button in the toolbox. In the Tool Options bar, use the Gradient Selector dropdown to select a preset gradient to apply. You can also click the gradient sample displayed in the Tool Options bar, or click the Edit button to launch the Gradient Editor where you can create your own custom gradient. You will examine how to create custom gradients using the Gradient Editor in the next lesson. To select which blending mode to use for the gradient fill, Use the Mode dropdown. To select the transparency of the entire gradient fill if desired, use the Opacity slider. Optionally, to reverse the order of the colors in the gradient, check the Reverse checkbox. To use a transparency mask for the gradient fill, check the Transparency checkbox. To create a smoother gradient with less obvious banding between the colors, check the Dither checkbox. Next, select which style of gradient to create. Linear gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a straight line. Radial gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a circular pattern. Angle gradient, which shades in a counterclockwise sweep around the starting point. Reflected gradient, which shades symmetric linear gradients on either side of the starting point. Or diamond gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a diamond shape. To apply the gradient, click and drag from the starting point to the ending point of the gradient. To restrict the line drawn to 45 degree angles, Hold down the Shift key as you click and drag out the starting and ending points of the gradient. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.